All right, what's up, everybody? We are back with another edition of Everyday Hoops. Hope you guys are having a good one. Today, we're doing the small forwards tier list, ranking every small forward in the NBA. We did this with the point guards. We did this with the shooting guards. And now we're at the small forwards here in today's video. So if you missed the last two, you can go back and watch those. But we're going to be ranking every single small forward in the NBA right now. Uh, thank you guys for the views on the videos and the shorts recently. I really appreciate it. If you do like the content around here, consider subscribing, like, turn notifications, do all stuff like that. I'd really appreciate it. It really upset a lot. Uh, join the membership. If you want to learn more about the membership, there's a video on my channel explaining all of it. You can go back and watch that. Link to my Twitters and all that stuff down in the description below. And uh, yeah, don't waste any more of your time. Let's get right into it. So here we have all of the players, the tiers and all that stuff. Let me move myself over here. Yeah, so... We got every small forward in the NBA on NBA roster currently right now. And um, yeah, we're going to rank them. So if you missed the last two videos, quick explanation of all the tiers. Superstar tier, these are the elite. The elite all-star tiers are players that are, they're not superstar level, but they're really, really good players. Uh, starter level players or starter level, you know, guys are really good. Not all-stars, but really, really good players. Backup guys that are like, you know, they're solid, you know. Bench is kind of just like, all right, they're at the end of the bench and eh, whatever. And the G League, self explanatory. And also, like the first two videos, let me explain really quick. I'm not basing these just based off their true, what their role is. So some of these guys are going to be bench players, but they might be in the starter tier, even though they're not technically starters, but it's what they play like. So some of these guys might actually be six men, but I put them in the starter, you know, tier, not because I think they're going to be a starter, but because that's how they play like. You know, that's what their play style is, and that's how it goes, you know? So, just want to explain that as well so people don't get confused. And, yeah, now let's get into it. We got a lot of people to rank, so let's do it. We're starting with Grayson Allen. Grayson Allen, um, I'm going to put him in. I'll put him in starter tier, uh, one of the best three-point shooters. He was an elite last year shooting. Uh, I don't know what the lineup for the Suns is going to look like in the regular season. If they're going to put Ty Jones in that point guard or they're going to keep the same lineup as last year, I don't really know. But Grayson Allen, sniper, he's in there. Starter tier, I think is good. OG. I'll put OG in starter tier two. Um, and again, we can go back and change these. So maybe Grayson Allen falls to backup tier. Um, I don't know. But OG and OB is really good. I think he has a conversation maybe even to be an all-star tier. But right now, I'll put him in starter tier. I mean, defensively, we know he can do. Just got a big contract. Uh, this offseason well deserved. And yeah, it's OG Anobi is one of the best role players you can have in the game right now. So yeah, OG goes starter tier. Denny. Denny Avdia. Um He dang near might go in starter tier too. Like Denny Avdia, I think was really, really good last year. Yeah, he, he had a really good season. It's just that the Wizards were really bad. And honestly, now looking at it, I might move OG up to all star tier. Like honestly, I might move him up to all star tier. Looking at some of these players and some of these things, like he, he might he might move up. Honestly, you know what? We're gonna mm, or do I move these guys down to backup tier for right now? Like I uh, I, I will, you know, I'm with Grayson Allen. Mm, I don't know. It's it's so tough. It's so early on. I don't know how the tiers are gonna end up working out. But I don't know if all three of these guys are on this. I think OG is a step above these two guys. So I guess I'll put OG in all-star tier. Also, the small forward list is not as strong as some of the other lists. Kind of similar to like the shooting guards. But the shooting guard list was not. There's only like three people in superstar, four people in all. Like there wasn't really that much at the top. There's not much like st superstar talent. Because a lot of these guys, a lot of the small forwards you probably think are going to be on this list are most likely throughout that were already in the shooting guard video. Or they're going to be in the power forwards. I think the power forwards are going to be... That's where it's going to get really, really crazy. But, yeah, a lot of people have changed positions from small forwards. Mostly small forwards in the NBA right now are more like role players. And more like guys that do a little bit of everything. So, I'll put OG in the all-star tier for now. But, of course, again, we can go back and change. Uh, nothing is concrete right now. But, Denny I'll put in starter tier. I think Denny had a really, really good season last year. With the Wizards, just no one really cared because he was with the Washington Wizards. Now he's in Portland, which is still a move that I'm confused by. I don't know how he's not a Wizard anymore and he's in Portland. But I think he's going to do really good over there. Guy that can do a little bit of everything. He can defend well. Uh, he can handle the ball. 
the scoring, the rebounding was really good last year. The shooting was good. So last year, Danny had a really good year. I'm excited to see if he can improve that with Portland and be one of their more valuable players, which I think he is. And he's still only like 23 years old, 24 years old, which is crazy. Like he's still super, super young. So I think Denny is Denny's really, really good. Patrick Baldwin, put him in the G League, just hasn't really got enough time yet. RJ. RJ Barrett. Mm, this is another tough one. I feel like he's in between. If there's a there if there's a tier in between All Star and Starter, RJ would be in that tier. He's like the epitome of that tier, I feel like. Like that's who he that's who RJ is. You know? Um I'll put RJ, I'll put him in. Hmm, hmm, I'll put him in starter tier for now. But I do think this can be a big year for RJ. Last year, after he got traded to Toronto, he turned up. He looked really, really good. I think after full off season, he looked good in team for Team Canada. Now I think I think this could be a big year for RJ Barrett. I really do. I really think this can be a big year for RJ, and he can come up and he can have like a see a big 23 point break like that type of season i think he can be jump up a tier right now i'm gonna keep him in starter maybe i'll move him up at the end but right now i'll put him in starter but i think at the end of the season he can have a big jump up uh monty bates g league uh interested to see if he ever becomes a rotational player for the cavaliers kato ziop go to the bench just yeah where is he now i think brooklyn now yeah uh, marjan bochamp also gonna go on bench tier but I think he could become a, ro a rotational player for the Bucks this year. The last year, I was saying I think Marjan should become a rotational player, and then Doc Rivers came in, and Doc Rivers doesn't like playing young people. But maybe Marjan, maybe Marjan could come in and hopefully find a role. Uh, Sadiq Bay, he's gonna go in backup tier. Uh, came off, had a tough ACL injury last year, had a really good start to his career with Detroit, and the last couple of years have been kind of like a little bit off. Now he's in Washington, where maybe he can find a role for himself over there. We'll see. Uh, Brandon Boston. Go to the G League. He's in San Antonio now. I was a big fan of Brandon Boston. I think Brandon Boston can has some game. I think he does. It's just tough because he's one of those scoring. Like he's got. He's one of those dudes that if he's not scoring, he's not doing much else. And unless you're like an elite level scorer, it's really hard to be that in the NBA right now. It's really hard to be a guy that just just buckets. You know, unless you have a certain you could carve out a role for yourself. Like unless you're an elite scorer. Unless you're like a guy that's going to give you 20 to 25. Unless you're like one of those type of dudes. It's just really, really tough to find a role. Uh, Jalen Bridges. I'm going to put him in bench tier. I, I really like the pickup of the sounds. I like Jalen Bridges. I think he could become a good, ro a good role player. He's another guy that does a little bit of everything. I think maybe the Suns could figure out a role for him. Mikhail. He's going to go in all-star tier as well. Um, now in New York. You know, it's just crazy that he's in New York. But yeah, Mikael Bridges, we know who Mikael Bridges is. The ultimate Iron Man. Defensively, you know he can do his thing. Found out last year also that he's not a star. He's not a superstar player, which is okay. Because put him in a certain role, he can do it, you know. Miles Bridges, he's going to go in starter tier. I uh, guess he's got a good contract, I guess. Cool. Dylan Brooks is also going to go in starter tier. Say what you want about Dylan Brooks' antics and all that stuff, but Dylan Brooks is a really good player. Like, last year in Houston, he was really good. Shot the three ball really well defend. Defended well, and yeah, he, he fits in that Houston nature, you know. Jalen Brown got our first guy going up in superstar tier. Um, Jalen Brown honestly might have a conversation of being the best small forward in the game right now. He, he honestly might. Um, I'm going to do my top 10 in each position after we do all these ranking videos. Jalen Brown might be high. He's, he's going to be high, no doubt. How high, I don't really know. I haven't thought about it yet, but he, he's going to be high up, man. Jalen Brown, finals MVP just amazing you know uh justin this, no this is julian julian champagne uh we'll put him in bench tier even though he was a starter last year for the spurs i don't expect him to be a starter this year he, he's solid but it's just whatever and then justin champagne gonna be on the g league city sissoko in g league uh amir coffee he's gonna go in backup tier he's really solid though last couple years he's been really solid for the clippers you know, last year, especially when, you know, if Paul George Kawhi got down, Amir Coffey came in, and he just filled the role really well. Shot the three ball, defended, and just did the things he needed to do. So, yeah, Amir there. Pat Connaughton, he's going to go in backup tier as well. A little bit older, but still really solid. Uh, Bilal Kolabali, he's going to go in backup tier for now. But I do think Bilal can be really good. I think he can have a good second season. Defensively, he's already really, really good. It's just really about how well can that offense 
you know, take how, how big of a step can he take offensively? Because right now he's more of just like a energy guy on the offensive end. Teams are letting him shoot whenever he wants and all that stuff. So it just really depends on how much can he grow his offensive game. But defensively, he's going to be really good. Uh, Tory Craig also going to go back up tier, just like a really solid role player, you know. DeMar. DeMar, DeMar might go in superstar. Looking at the list, DeMar DeRozan actually might be in superstar tier, especially looking at some of the other people on this list. DeMar might be in superstar tier, honestly. Like, he, he's, he, I mean, he's still giving you, what, 24 points per game. It's crazy. Uh, of course, in Sacramento, it's going to be very, very interesting to see what happens over there in Sacramento. Um, now that he's there, um, it'll, it'll help in a lot of ways, maybe not help in different ways, but DeMar is still DeMar. He's still really, really good, you know. Uh, Lou Dort, going to put him in starter tier, one of the better defenders in the league, and then offensively, he, he's been really solid shooting the ball. P.J. Dozier, put him in bench tier. He's back in the NBA now. He's with Minnesota, which I really, really like. I really like P.J. Dozier he was in the league. I really did. Just a really solid wing that can, you know, handle the ball. He can defend. He can do a couple different things, you know. So I think I, I really like P.J. Dozier when he was with Denver and all that stuff. Now he's back in the league after going overseas with Minnesota. Uh, Chris Duarte, going to go bench tier. It's crazy. He had a really good rookie year, and then just I don't know what happened. He I don't really know. He's in Chicago now. This is what the Bulls got back for tomorrow. So, yeah. Ryan Dunn, bench tier. But I do think that was a good pickup for the Suns. A really, really good defender. It's just really kind of similar to, what's that, Bilal Kolobali, but on a lesser scale where, like, well, I maybe even on a more scale because Ryan Dunn defensively is already amazing. Amazing defensively. It's just can he do anything on the offensive end, really? Justin Edwards, G League tier. Um, interested to see if he can grow his game, you know, down the G League and stuff. Kessler Edwards, I'm going to go bench tier. Uh, Tosan, Ev Boam, what about G League? Trent Flowers, also going to go with G League tier for now. Good pickup, though, for the Clippers. A guy that, you know, second round pick, well, he was like 51st pick or something like that. Like, just whatever. You know, if he booms, he booms. If he doesn't, whatever. Simone Fontecchio. I'll put him in backup tier. Simone Fontecchio show last year. He was a good NBA player. Detroit got him. Um, he's a he's a he's a sniper. He's a sniper, really. Paul George, he's gonna go in superstar tier as well. Looking at the rest of this list, he's gonna go in superstar tier. Um, yeah, Paul George really good. Of course, now he's in Philly. Very excited to see how that turns out. You know, uh, Javante Green. I'll put him in backup tier. When he came back to the league last year with the Bulls, he was really really good. Now he's in New Orleans. Um, yeah, he's a really good player. AJ Griffin going bench tier. Um, just unfortunate him he didn't work out with the Hawks, where the Hawks kind of just forgot that he existed. Now he's in Houston, where it's a uh, he's jam packed with a lot of other good young guys. But I mean, he's a really good shooter, and maybe you know if you can shoot well, you can always find a role. So maybe the Rockets can find a role for him on a team. Uh, Tim Hardaway gonna go in back tier. He's in Detroit now. Um, one of the Guys, that's just like when he's hot, he's hot. When he's not, he's not. You know, uh, Josh Hart gonna go in starter tier, one of the best role players in the game. Everybody would love to have a Josh Hart type player on their team. You know, he's gonna give 120 percent, rebound the ball, just do all the little things. You know, uh, Sam Hauser gonna go in backup tier. Just got a pretty nice contract, so shout out to Sam Hauser, another elite shooter. Um, Malcolm Hill gonna go G League. Uh, Blake Hinson, Laker, you know, G League. Ron Holland. Ron Holland, I'm gonna put in. I'm putting backup tier for now. Uh, number five overall pick in the draft. Um, guy that has a lot of potential. He's got a lot of potential to be one of the best players in the class. With the way he plays, the hustle he plays with, you know, the energy, the athleticism he has is crazy. It's just really about putting it all together. And will he do in Detroit? I don't know. Detroit's not a place where a lot of people put things together. But you know what? Maybe hopefully, hoping the best for him. You know, Caleb Houston. Going to go bench. Jet Howard. Going to put him on G League tier, but I think maybe he can get some minutes this year. Uh, DeAndre Hunter. I'll put him in... Mm, I'll put him in starter tier. I like DeAndre Hunter. I think he's solid. Um, I, He's a good shooter. You know, defender. He's good. It's just about... It's just really his health. He's never really been healthy. Um, that, That's really what, the, what it's been. It's just his health has not been there. So... I mean, we'll see what role he's going to play. Is he going to be a starter? Are they going to give Rusashe the starting job? Is he going to go back to the bench? I don't I don't really know. Joe Ingles, going to go in backup tier. Even though he's a lot older now, just a reliable, solid veteran. And now he's in Minnesota, which is nice. 
BI. He's going to go in... I'll put BI in all-star tier. He's going to go in all-star tier. Uh, a lot of people talk about, you know, his trade value and what he is in that regard. Um, I really do want him to get traded. It's just that there's not really any places for him, especially if he wants the money that he wants. Uh, it's just really, really tough. But BI is still really, really good, you know. Uh, Harrison Ingram. I'm going to put him in bench tier. I think that could work out really nice for the Spurs. Uh, Jaime Jaquez. Um, honestly, he's going to go in starter tier already. Jaime had a really, really good year last year, the rookie year. Um, had some injuries that kind of messed him up. But Jaime Jaquez is really, really good, man. I love that he got to Miami. That's just the perfect spot for him. I think he's probably going to be a starter this year, maybe. Especially after they lost Caleb Martin. But, yeah, Jaime. Jalen Johnson, also going to go in starter tier. Uh, had a breakout season last year. We see if he can keep it up. But, yeah. Keldon Johnson. I'm going to put Keldon Johnson in backup tier. Um, I was a I don't know. Kellen Johnson, it was just a weird year for him last year. He kind of he lost his job as a starter. Now he's coming off the bench. He's kind of one of those guys where it's like, I don't really know what's going to happen. Is he going to be around in San Antonio? Is he going to get traded? Is he a starter? Is he coming off? Like, he's probably not going to be a starter because now they have Harrison Barnes. They have Jeremy Soan. Stephon Castle's there now, even though he's a guard. But it's like, I don't really know what Kellen Johnson is and what he fits with this team. I, I, I think he might get traded at some point soon. Just because I don't really know. Uh, David Jones going to go to the G League. Derek Jones Jr. He's going to go in... Mm, 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 mm. He had a really good season last year. I'll put him in... I'll, I'll, put, I'll put him in... Mm, I'll put him in... He's in between, like starter and backup. Even though, he again, he had a really good season last year. With um, da I mean, he was a starter on a championship team. He's a, he was a starter on a on a team that went to the finals, so I'll put him in start in starter tier. Uh, very interesting. The money that he got only ten years, only three year, ten ten million per year. Now he's with the Clippers. We'll see. We'll see what he can do over there. Uh, Dylan Jones gonna go G League, but I do think he can carve out a role for himself in OKC. Herb Jones gonna go in starter tier. Uh, one of the best defenders in the league. He became a really good shooter last year. He's really Herb Jones is really really good man. Um. I kind of said it last, I think, in the, every time I mentioned the Pelicans here. But it's going to be interesting to see, especially where Herb Jones fits into the lineup. Is he still going to be a starter with DeJounte? Is he moving to the three? Is he coming off the bench? I, I don't I don't really know what's going to happen over there. But that's something Willie Green has to figure out. Spencer Jones, G League. Corey Kispert, he's going to go back up to here. But I think Corey Kispert had a really good season as well, along with Denny. Corey Kispert had a really good season, I think. He's a really good shooter, really good basketball player. Overall, it's just he's in Washington, so no one really cares. But I think Corey Kisper could be one of those guys where if he moves on to another team that's a playoff team, people are going to be like, whoa, whoa, whoa Corey Kisper, is this good? Like He's going to be one of those guys. I feel like there can be a world where he gets traded to like a good play, a decent playoff team. Like, I, I don't I can't even think of one. Like Orlando, not Orlando, but maybe Orlando or something like in that range. And he goes there and he plays really good. Or he does the same thing he does in Washington. Everyone's going to be like, whoa, Corey Kisper, he's one of the best role player shooters in the league. And it's like, yeah. He's been doing this. It's just that he's in Washington, so no one cares. You know, uh, Bobby Clintman, going to put him in bench tier. I really like the pick up for Detroit. I really like what I saw in Summer League as well. Don't connect, going to go to the bench. Really like that pick for the Lakers. That was just an A plus pick that they got that fell right into their hands. So we'll see who he can do in his rookie year. Uh, John Conchar, going to put him in bench. Kawhi, going to go to superstar tier. Um, wait, wait. In, w let's see what this year is for Kawhi Leonard. He's by himself with him and Harden, but he's kind of by himself now. Coming off injury, the injured playoff run, no Team USA. I, I don't really know. I, I don't really know what's going to happen with Kawhi. We'll see. If, is he going to have a healthy Kawhi year where it's going to be like, all right, it's my team. I'm going to show the world that I hate who I am. Or is he just, I don't really know. Uh, Maxwell Lewis, go G League. Chris Livingston, G League. Seth Lundy, G League. Terrence Mann. I'll put Terrence Mann in backup tier. Um, he's, he's really good, really good role player. Is he untouchable? No, even though the Clippers think so. Um, yeah, he's a really, really solid role player. Just fits, fills in when he needs to. And he does a really good job at it, you know. Uh, Najee Marshall, also going to go back up tier. Really love, I think he can be one of the better pickups of the offseason. If he plays, like I think he could play in Dallas, a Swiss Army knife, he just does a little bit of everything. Especially with the loss of Derrick Jones, he comes right in and fills a great role off the bench, I feel like. Uh, Caleb Martin. I'll put Caleb Martin in backup tier. He could be on a starter tier. He probably, he's kind of in the middle-ish. 
But yeah, ever since he went to Miami, he was really good. Now he's in Philadelphia on a cheaper contract than expected. So maybe he balls out over there. But I, I really like the pickup for Philly. I think he's a, he's just a really solid basketball player, you know. Cody Martin, he's going to go on bench tier. He's been, just, he's just been injured. He's just been injured the last two years. And it's tough because I think Cody Martin can do some of the things that Caleb Martin does. Kobe, Cody Martin is another really good basketball player. High IQ, got to get his shots, defend. He can do all that stuff. It's just injuries are really taking him down, unfortunately. Uh, Jalen Martin, G League, Cam Martin Jr., bench tier. I just hasn't really gotten a fly. I think Cam Martin Jr., he had a really good year two years ago with Houston. And then he got traded to Philadelphia. And then, or he went to the Clippers. Then he got didn't really play there. He got traded to Philly. Played once in a while. So I don't really know what his role is. Uh, Betting Matherin, he's going to go in backup tier. He's It's going to be very interesting to see what happens with Betting Matherin this year. Of course, he got hurt near, near the end of last year. And then Indiana won another big playoff run. And now it kind of is like Betting Matherin could be that odd guy out because already I, Tyrese is there. They just gave them hard a contract extension. Neesmith is there. TJ McConnell is really, really good. Um, I feel like I'm forgetting someone. Do they have another guard? I, I feel like I'm forgetting somebody else that they have on their team. But Betting Mather has kind of just been, he could. it could be a situation where he just comes the odd guy out. Where it's like we already have so many guys here. And even though he's good, it's just like, I don't know. And he's also one of those players that, He's a scorer. He's a guy that, if he's not scoring, he hasn't really developed too much of his game you rely on. He's, he hasn't become a great defender yet, even though I think he has the tools to be a good defender. He's not a playmaker. He's not a, even a great three-point shooter yet. He's more attack the basket. So he's just in a, he, he's got one of those games, he's just in a position where it's like, he could be the odd guy out where I don't see, I see a world where if the Pacers, if there's another guy out there the Pacers want to go get, he will be in that trade. He'll get He'll just have to be get moved, you know. But I th I do think he's really good. It's just he's he's gonna wear his position. So we're I'm interested to see what his role is next year for um Indiana. Kevin McCuller, put him in bench here. I'm not gonna say it because if you watch all my draft content, you know how much I love Kevin McCuller Jr. I'm not gonna say it here, but well, I'll say it a little bit. This could be a guy. Kevin McCuller could be a guy that people are gonna be like, how did we let him fall to what fifty? He was like fifty six pick, man. Uh, G the McDaniels, go to the bench. J, wait, does this J? How I, I if they've been in the league for so long, and I still mess up Jalen and Jaden. J, okay, this is this is J. Jaden McDaniels is the one that everyone knows that plays for Minnesota. He's gonna go in starter tier. Amazing defender, one of the best defenders in the league. Uh, didn't have a great offensive year that I expected last year, but he has the capabilities of being a good offensive player as well. But now in Minnesota, he kind of doesn't really need to. But, I mean, still having that would be nice. Uh, Chris Middleton. Chris Middleton. Put him in all-star tier. He's still in all-star tier. He showed last year in the playoffs that he still has it in him. Injuries have been just a bit. Ever since the playoff, the championship in 2021, injuries have just been killing Chris Middleton, you know. But he showed last year in the playoffs in the Indiana series, even though they lost that, he still has a lot of game left in him. It's just really about being healthy. Uh, Brandon Miller. He's going to go in starter tier as well already really good had an amazing rookie season and he can be he's one he's one of the building blocks of the future for the charlotte hornets really impressed with brandon miller really excited to see how his career goes uh jordan miller go to g league leonard miller g league uh justin manaya g league josh mano g league trey murphy also going to go in starter tier uh fortunately probably won't be a starter this to start this season because brandon ingram is still in new orleans but trey murphy it's, it's going to be Trey Murphy's gonna have to start at some point. Um, he, he's really good, man. I mean, amazing shooter, good defender, just a guy that maybe a guy also that you see sometimes maybe has a little bit more to his game, maybe has a little bit of a ceiling, or maybe has a little bit more of a you know room to grow. Like he's he's got some potential hidden in there. So and we you never know until you give him a chance to. Keegan gonna go in starter tier, really really good. You know he's just gonna he's gonna have a really long career and really good career. Uh, Chris Murray go go on bench for now. Svi, Mikhail Luke bench. Aaron Neesmith. I'll put Aaron Neesmith in. Mm, he, mm, I'll put him in backup tier for now. But he could he mm, he has a conversation to be in the starter tier. But I'll put him in backup. But yeah, just the way he's changed his changed and grown since going to Indiana, where he is a starting forward in this league now. A good defender, a great three-point shooter, uh, likes to get the basket. Like he, 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 he's really good now. 
And it's really nice to see that. Josh Kogi, no bench. Royce O'Neal, he'll go back up tier. Really good role player. Uh, Kelly Oubre, also going to go on back up tier. Really like that he stayed in Philadelphia. Uh, Julian Phillips, go to G League. Daquan Plowden in G League. Michael Porter Jr., going to go in starter tier. Um, yeah, not really much to say. Michael Porter Jr., just a great shooter. And he's on one of the best teams in the league. So, yeah. Cam Reddish, good going mm, bench tier, unfortunately. He just, it's tough, man. Cam Reddish just hasn't really shown much throughout his career so far. I honestly forgot he was on the Lakers until I was doing this. And I was like, oh, yeah, Cam Reddish plays for the Lakers. Like, I just forget. It's just really tough. He's dealt with a lot of injuries. He's already been on, what, like, four or five teams already. Like, he's, boy, he was in Atlanta, Portland, New York. Now he's in L.A. He's already been on four teams. Hasn't stuck anywhere yet. Last year was good defensively. Not a good shooting year. Then he got hurt. So it's just been like, I don't really, really know what Cam Reddish is, what his role is. Uh, Zachary Versace, going to put him in backup tier for now. Um, a lot of people talk about him, you know, not in a great way as being the number one overall pick. He's not a conventional number one overall pick. But I think Zachary Versace could have a really good career. Well, I think he went MVP or make all NBA first or anything like that. No. But I do think he's got some really good things. He's a good basketball player, good IQ. He can shoot the ball really well. He likes to attack. Defensively, he's got a lot of potential as well. It's just that he's, I mean, he's still only, what, 19, 20 years old. He still has a lot of more strength and his body to grow and for his game to grow. He's in Atlanta now. Is he going to be a starter? I don't know for sure if he's going to be a starter day one. They might do it. I don't know. But I don't, I'm not worried about Zachary. We're Sasha, you know. Tucker Robinson, going to go back up to here. He had a really good year last year. Baylor Shireman, going to go to the bench. Uh, Boston picks up another shooter. Uh, Bryce Sensabaugh, bench. Julian Strother, bench tier. But if you know me and you watch the channel, you know how much I believe in Julian Strother. Max Strus, he's going to go in. Mm, I'll put Max Strus in starter, starter tier. I'll put Max Strus over, up there in starter tier. Uh, had a really good year last year, career year last year in Cleveland. Great shooter. Rebounded really well, defended well. He just he did a lot of things well last year in Cleveland. Um, Cole Swider, gonna go G League, I guess. Yeah. Uh, Jay Sean Tate, gonna go bench tier, even though I think he's a really solid player. Uh, Amen Thompson, could have put him in backup for now, but you know, he's got a lot of potential. He showed a lot at the end of the year in, in Houston. Where he got a lot more opportunity. Rebounded really well. Defensively already pretty good. Loves to be down low in that dunker spot as well. It's just really about the shooting. The shooting obviously for him and his brother. But they both have a lot of potential. I'm putting a star in the same tier. I, I, I think they both have they both have a lot of potential. They both really do. Clay. Good to go in starter tier. Um, we're not to see him in the all-star tier up here. But I mean, he's still solid. He's in Dallas now. New chapter. Very excited to see how that goes. But yeah, Clay, it's just not the same Clay anymore. But he's still he's still one of the better shooters in the league. Matisse, you know, benched here. Jacob Toppin, G League. Jalen Tyson going to go to the bench. But as a Cavs fan, I'm personally very excited to see Jalen Tyson. I do think he should be a rotational player for us, honestly. Uh, Franz Wagner going to go on starter tier. He has a conversation, honestly, to be an all-star tier. Like, honestly... Mm, I, I'm honestly thinking about maybe putting him up at tier because I'm I'm taking Franz Wagner over a lot of the guys in starter tier if I'm being honest. Like, mm, uh, mm, uh, mm. I'm putting Franz in all star tier. I'm putting Franz up there in all star tier. Franz Wagner is really really good. Didn't have a good three point shooting last year, and he, the game seven against the Cavs was not good. But Franz is really good. He just got paid a monster deal. Shout out to him. But he he's he's amazing, man. I mean, he can. You know, get to the rim. He can score. He can defend. He can play within the offense as well. He's not a guy that just give me the ball and let me dribble. Like he plays within the offense. Just an amazing, a really good basketball player. Still really, really young. Still has a lot of room to grow. And if he could come back to being a solid, because he's usually a really solid three point shooter. Last year was just a really bad year for some reason. But if he could come back to that, man, I think I, I honestly, if the Magic, if the Magic have a really good year, like top in the East type of good year, Franz would be in All Star conversations. I, I believe that for sure. Franz will be an all-star conversation. Will he make it? I don't know. But he will be an all-star conversation if Orlando's a top three seed or something like that in the East. Jordan Walsh, G League. Payne Watson, going to go bench tier, but he can have a big year. Jalen Wells, G League, Dwight Whitehead. 
G League, Cam Whitmore. He's gonna go in he's gonna go he's gonna go in backup tier for now. He's got a lot of potential, obviously. Um I mean the Rockets getting him out with the twentieth pick when they did was just insane still. But yeah, it's just another piece to the Rockets puzzle, you know. Uh Andrew Wiggins, he's gonna go in backup tier. He, he just not the last two years have just been bad. Really bad. He's had a lot of he hasn't played a lot of games due to personal reasons. But even when he is playing, it's just you tell it's not the same Andrew Wiggins that we know. You know? So hopefully maybe this year he could come back to it, but it's just been pretty bad. Cody Williams. I'm putting him in backup tier for now. I, I think Cody, Cody Williams, I really like Cody Williams. I think he's going to have a really good career. And then Zaire Williams going to go to the bench tier. Now he's in Brooklyn. He could be a breakout candidate, maybe. So here is the... Yeah, I, I'm solid with the list. I think I'm solid. Um, do I, I, I might want to move DeAndre Hunter down to backup tier, honestly. Uh, I might move DeAndre Hunter because now I'm looking at this list and... Mm, I'll keep it. I'll keep it. I'll keep it. All right. So superstar, we have Jalen Brown, DeMar DeRozan, Kawhi, Paul George. All star, we have OG, Mikhail, Brandon Ingram, Chris Middleton, Franz, and then there's a lot of names. So you can read. You can read the rest <laughs> of the starter list, the backup list, the bench list, and the G League list. Uh, yeah, a lot of small forwards. Not too many elite small forwards anymore. But again, like I said earlier, I think small forwards are becoming more of like the role players. Small forwards more of becoming guys like Dylan Brooks, Lou Dort. Hi, man. Like guys like my quarter junior, guys like this, where it's like most small forwards are just gonna be guys that are just or even OG McHale at the highest level, just guys that are gonna defend well, shoot the three ball, and maybe have a little bit more to them if they need to score they can. But I think shooting small forwards are becoming more of this. But then you also again you still have the guys like Jalen Brown, the Kawhis, guys like Brandon Miller can get up to this tier. Maybe Jalen Johnson or High may have another level. RJ can have another level. So have guys here and there, obviously, that are more like scoring, you know, have star ability type small forwards. But most small forwards now in the NBA are more like, you know, just good role players. But yeah, that's going to be it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Once again, if you do like the content around here, consider subscribing, like, turn on notifications, do all stuff like that. I'd really appreciate it. It really upset a lot. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow.